Welcome to the channel. I am about to share with you a detailed inside look and my thoughts and feelings about our history curriculum that we are using for the upcoming school year. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy right here on the channel. Go ahead, while you're here, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you do not miss any of the videos uploaded on the channel. If you've been with me before, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you as always. We are about to talk history. Whew, you guys, I, I am not, I'm not a history person. I'm pretty sure I've said that before in some of my previous videos, but I just, I have never been one to dive into all of the things of history. It, I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's never been my area of interest. Math, science, I'm your girl. However, that is really changing. Um, I thank God for placing my children in my life and us in this homeschool, on this homeschool journey, because it is really, um, pushing me to different levels and different interest levels. And I wanna learn things with my children. So here we are on our history journey. The curriculum that I am introducing to you guys or sharing with you is called O oh Freedom. And it is a conscious US history curriculum. Why did I choose O oh Freedom? I'll get to that in just a second. I purchased it back in 2019 because I was like, I need to learn about history. And I wanted to find a history curriculum that was inclusive, that it not just talked about one point of view or another, but that it included all points of view. And that is really hard to find. We all know that. We all know some of the things that have been going on with homeschool history curriculums. And I just, I don't know. But Back in 2019, I purchased this. However, when I started flipping through it and looking at the books that go along with the curriculum, it was just too advanced for my girls at the time. So we tabled it, which I was completely fine with. Not, not a big deal. Um, this year, they came out with an updated version and they were so kind to send that to me for free for having purchased the previous one, which I thought was awesome. Greatly appreciate them doing that. So here we are on this journey of using the curriculum, Oh Freedom. It is so far going really well for us. I will show you all of the books. I will give you a flip through. All of the details are coming up, but I love that this curriculum gives the, the everybody's perspective. It gives, it gives everyone's point of view, which I think is so important for a complete story. It almost puts me in a mind of one child, I have three of them, one child comes to me and tells me one side of the story, I need to hear the other one side of the story as well. I need to hear everybody's side of the story to be able to put all of those pieces together to come to my own conclusion. And that is what we have to do, especially with history. And you guys, I pray about it all the time because you just never know. You never know what has been altered over these thousands of years. You just don't know. You don't know. And so I am led by my heart. I am led by my head, my desire, my children's interest to dive deeper into our history. However, I did not want it to be from a point of strictly what I consider to be um, sadness, negativity, um, strife, struggles forever, because that is not us. That is not our lives. We are not, we're not, we're not living like that. We're not going to live like that. And it is a very true reality. So I wanted our girls to have a reality of the world that we live in, the past, the present, and possibly the future. Um, and just to enjoy doing it and to not be a very stressful, saddened, point in our homeschool. I wasn't having that. So here we are using O oh Freedom. And that is one of the things that I absolutely love about it is the variety that is added into this curriculum. Okay. So what you will get when you purchase the curriculum is you will get a PDF version of the curriculum that has everything in it that you will need to get the materials that you need, <laughs> okay? Um, it has links and everything. So I'm gonna show you on my computer what that PDF looks like, and I'm also going to share with you 
all of the books. Okay, here is the curriculum. It will come in a download, so a PDF, and you will have an opportunity to download it and save it to your computer. First page here, and I decided to print the curriculum off because we're not always um, in our schoolroom or upstairs or wherever, so I just printed it off and had it spiral bound, but I still use this for some of the links that are offered here. This is the second edition, and what it goes into first is it has an african proverb here it says until the story of the hunt is told by the lion the tale of the hunt will always glorify the hunter beautiful page that you can color if you like to do that welcome to oh freedom and here it gives a story and background of how and why she came up with this curriculum and why she felt like it was important. Um, she discovered this in homeschooling her own children that she wanted a curriculum that was all inclusive. So here we are with O oh Freedom. It gives you information on before you get started, maybe a video to watch or a chapter to read so that you have an understanding of where the curriculum is headed for you and your family. Next thing, it gives you a how to use guide. So you're going to discover storytelling experience and it has timestamps on there, like 30 minutes for discovery, um, 25 to 30 minutes for storytelling experience and discussion and reflect. Those will obviously vary depending on you and your family. And then it gives you um, suggestions for how to make reflection time engaging. And if your children are old enough, they will come up with their own questions and the discussion will be led um, very naturally, very organically based on your child. You may have to kind of spark some questions or, or areas of interest for them, but so far my girls have hit me with lots of questions and we've done more exploring. So it's been really good for us. There is also a daily schedule here. And then questions you ask with nearly any lesson that are here. It says, who were the leaders and who are the helpers? How did they accomplish what they did? What character traits did they have? Who was the president of the United States and what part did he play? What role did greed play in the decision that people made? And then you can insert an event here, change the course of history. What possibilities can you imagine had things happened differently? Those are very thought provoking questions. So if you don't have any to ask your children, you find that they're kind of at a loss and running blank, that's your go-to questions there. The second edition is updated a little bit with a few different books um, and things like that, but not, not, not a drastic change if you have the first edition. I love this, book list and more. It gives you playlists. So there is a playlist to music and all of the links that you see here are links that you can click. It, you can click here for direct links to the books and to purchase book bundles as well. Or you can search and find your books like what I did. There's also a link to YouTube videos that go along with the curriculum as well. There is also an O Freedom journal that you can purchase for your child. I have two journals for my older daughters that I will show you all a look at that shortly. The books are broken up into textbooks um, and chapter books and optional additional books. So here are your textbooks that you would get. Before Columbus, the Americas of 1492, um, A Young People's History of the United States, Columbus to the War on Terror, A Different Mirror of Young People, A History of Multicultural America, An Indigenous People's History of the United States for Young People, Heart and Soul, The Story of America and African Americans, No More, Stories and Songs of Slave Resistance, Free at Last, Stories and Songs of Emancipation, and nobody gonna turn me around, stories and songs of the civil rights movement. I was able to get all of these books checked out from my library. I did go ahead and purchase The Heart and Soul, The Story of America and African Americans, but the rest of these books were checked out from my library. It also gives you a legend over here that you can find some of these books in audio, and you can also find them as eBooks as well. 
There are a lot of books. I would not say to purchase all of them unless you really feel compelled to do so and you want to increase your library um, at the time. And we may, once this course is over, purchase quite a few of them, but I want it to start out staying in budget. Another, these are still textbooks, Black Heroes of the American Revolution, Rethinking Columbus, The Next 500 Years, second edition. And then we have Stamped for Kids, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You. We are still here, Native American Truths, Everyone Should Know. Those are all of your textbook form books for this curriculum. The next one is chapter books, Seas Behind Trees. You guys, we are reading this book right now. We are almost done. We have two chapters left and it is a really good read. My girls did not want us to stop yesterday. A very good read. We're loving it. And then here are the all the other books. I will not read all of them, but you can have an opportunity to look at them all here on this side. And I will show you guys the videos of all of the books as well. These are all textbooks. Then you go into optional books. I did not get any of the optional books. I felt that between the textbooks and the chapter books that we had plenty of reading books along with our other curriculum that we are um, reading books from as well. So I decided not to get the optional books on this side. Then we get into the curriculum summary. It is a complete 40 week curriculum, okay? You do not have to do this in 40 weeks. We will not do this in 40 weeks. We are going to take our time and just go through this curriculum at our pace in our home. Of course, I will have to return some books and check them back out at the library, but I'll talk to you guys about how, how I plan to do that um, a little bit later on. But this is the curriculum summary. It gives you week by week what the lesson topics are. And there are also weeks put in here for you to dig deeper. So you would just go back through and say, okay, we were we did lessons or weeks seven through 13. Is there anything that we want to um, research further and get additional information about? This is what week 14 is all about. And there's the same for the other dig deeper weeks as well. Week number one, all of the weeks are set up the same. It gives you your discover section, which will be a certain book, which is usually the uh, textbook. So before Columbus, the Americas of 1491, this is a textbook. I actually found this book on CD and we listen to it every day during our lunchtime, which has worked out really, really good. You are only doing lessons four days a week, which is perfect because we are only schooling four days a week. Then you have your storytelling books, which are always your chapter books. Seas Behind Trees, this is where we are. We have been doing this for a week and a half. We're moving a little bit slower, but like I said, we're just moving at our own pace. But we have two chapters left in this book and the girls are dying to read it. Then you get your experience section and it gives you things to do. This one says, eat something with organic corn and the other crops found in the milpa, beans, squash, avocados, sweet potatoes, tomatoes. So you can really dive into the cultural aspect of it. And it has discussed all the ways that corn is used today to make various foods found in the grocery store. It gives you a video to watch that is a part of the O oh Freedom YouTube playlist. And then you will have your discuss and reflect se uh, section. It says discuss why a maze is, has been a mystery. Um, and we talked about this and this is like another name for corn, which I was blown away because I had no idea. But this is really fun. So different section for you to discuss and reflect. And then it also gives you parent notes on just different things that you may need when going through the curriculum. People, places, and events that are talked about in this first week. So this is where you can dive further. If you didn't necessarily want to um, go through this book, the Discover book, you could touch on these topics, do some research of your own. It really allows for a lot of flexibility. And that is how each week is set up. It does tell you if you are doing a new book. So if you're looking for the week ahead, that is perfect because you can say, okay, next week I'm going to need an indigenous people's history of the United States and the game of silence. Go grab those books. Okay. I love it so far. We are really enjoying it. And every week is set up the same, um, as same format. So there's no change in the format here. I wanted to show you one of the dig deeper sections. Um, over to the right, it says, this is the week where you get a chance, a change of pace. Use it to catch up on reading, 
dig deeper into a topic that you learned about in previous weeks, go on a history related field trip or just rest. And it gives you options for discovering, for discussion and reflect and extra credit. And that is how the dig deeper weeks are set up and you choose how you want to do it. You choose in this whole curriculum how you wanna do it. If you wanna spend two weeks on week one and just take your time and go through the curriculum, by all means do so. That is exactly what we're doing. So here's information about ordering the, the journal and then you have a, at the very end an ebook and audiobook guide here. And that is it for the PDF. Here is the O Freedom Journal that I was talking about and that you saw in the curriculum. We have two. The girls have not started in it just yet. However, it gives you instructions on how to use the journal and what you will use it for in the reflection section. And here are the each page there each section is the same so you have your topic and your dates and this is for week one and you'll say week one this week i learned and your child can put down four things that they learned it says pretend you're a reporter deciding on the most important things to share from this week's history lessons and your child will write down what they learned now if they have don't have four things to put down that's totally fine I mean, I think we all know that just just getting them to really think is the purpose of it. Things that they want to learn more about and new words that they learn the meaning of. And then they get a reflection section and a prayer box, things that they can pray for um, that they may have come across in the lesson that may have touched their heart. And then they have a blank page where they can draw a picture or write more, whatever they'd like to do. So that is how each page of the book is set up. Very simple, just gives your child uh, their own little personal journal to put their thoughts down and really reflect on this curriculum that they are enjoying. Here are the books for the curriculum. I only purchased a few of the books and I will let you guys know which ones I have purchased. I have divided them up. These are the textbooks for the curriculum and these are the chapter books for it. Are the textbooks that is a lot of books I know and you're like I checked them all out I did I checked all of those books out of the library, I only purchased about three of them because I could not find them at my library. And a couple of them I actually wanted to add to our homeschool library, so I just grabbed them. Here, I am able to check out books for about six months, so I have those books for six months. And as it gets closer, I will start returning them as we're reading through them. And once I've reached my max checkout, I will return them and just check them out again. But I will do that in enough time to be able to, to do so. so I have all of the books here ready to go, but what this allowed me to do is just kind of really flip through the books. I'm in the process of doing that now to make sure that the content is what I would like to share with my girls at this age. They are fourth and third grade, and then our four-year-old does listen in in kind of colors while we're reading, but I want to make sure that the content is, is presented to them in the way that I want to present it to them. Um, if there are hard and very sensitive topics, I do have a child who is very sensitive to hearing certain types of things, as am I, um, but uh, obviously I'm an adult. So I want to make sure that I'm presenting that information to them that speaks to them and does not cause any trauma or you know just issues and struggles. I want to be sensitive to that. So having all of the books now is giving me an opportunity to really flip through them, look at reviews, all of those types of things so that I am presenting it the best way that I possibly can. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through of the O Freedom curriculum. If you have any additional questions, please put them down in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're here. And if you like this type of video, go ahead, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And it lets me know what you are enjoying watching here at the 
Life of Tillman. So I will see you guys right back here at the Life of Tillman's for another video next time. Bye.